I just love the whole sexy aspect of it. My name is Julie Abramson, a former ballet dancer and now an owner of one of the hottest entertainment companies on the East Coast. We've performed for Donald Trump, Kim Kardashian, Kesha, Pitbull, and many famous DJs such as Tiesto, Zed, and Paul Van Dyke. We get to be the Amazing. sexiest girls in the club. All the guys check us out and all the girls hate us. <laughs> it's great. Basically, pretty much. <laughs> Story of our lives. Yeah. Go-go dancing, everyone gets that confused. It's not stripping. You're not going out and taking your clothes off for money. Yes. They think strippers and we're not. Yeah, we're not strippers. Jules Entertainment provides body painted dancers, aerial shows, dancers, models, circus acts. We do a lot of cool things. I like showed up ready to be like super sexy and I'm like bending over and all this stuff and she's like, we don't work in a strip club, we work at a nightclub. And we're like, we don't take off, off our tab, or like, we don't like, give lap dances, like, we don't offer like back massages. It's just like the military, the police, or anyone else. If you're a nurse, you wear stubs to the hospital. If you're a military We just have officer, really cute outfits. Yeah, we really just have beautiful. adorable uniforms. Crowd motivating. <laughs> we get the party going, keep it going. Well, the Jewels dancers are going to be at five different venues tonight, all over the city. Um, we're going to have amazing costumes, crazy makeup. We're leaving. We're off, off the G Lounge. G -Lounge. Halloween weekend. I think my girls are hot to begin with, but you have to see the amazing transformations they undergo to become showgirls every night. It's really amazing what makeup, glitter, fake lashes, some high boots, and a sexy costume can do. Um, it's a dream come true. It's like being a rock star. It's cool. Julie is a tough bitch. <laughs> but she has to be that way. I need you to get out. Doesn't that make sense if you're wearing a white outfit to bring a white girl? Mm -hmm. We have one girl that did not show up tonight, Amanda. Uh, she will not be working with us any longer. It's not going to happen again. I apologize. You get paid and check clear? Yes, I don't All right, can we get this right? Yes. Have a girl on call. Do I need to run your business? I Do you want me to run your business? Wailing, it won't happen again. Are you trying to tell me something? Or I don't yeah. know. I grew up Catholic, and my boyfriend is Jewish, so he kind of like turned on the light bulb for me, oh, and I'm converted okay. to Jewish. <laughs> to Judaism. <laughs> so I slept in his bed last night. He got home and he was like, "What are you doing here?" He's, he's supportive, but there's conditions to that. There's some girls that I prefer not to work with, and for personal reasons. There's like a, there's like underlying problems that go on. A um, bunch of snitching that goes on. I, I think there's a lot of mixed feelings. She like goes and rats me out the jewelry that I didn't have on stockings or whatever. It's like that's gonna take me off of the schedule for the next two weeks. Like you're messing with my money. Like I did give Jen um, a higher position. I feel like this is really good for me. You know, a, a stepping stone. I'm I'm in between. I don't take sides. I'm friends with all of them. I pick who I trust, and I trust Jen. Julie told me to my face that you are more trustworthy than Jen, but since Jen wants to pursue this as a career, I'm gonna try her out first. I would guess that some maybe might feel a little slighted because, you know, they've been working for her longer. Yeah. Some of the girls, you know, they uh, basically wipe her ass just so they can, you know, stay close to her and, you know, get the perks. Our event we did, she calls me asking where we go and what we're doing. I hung up on her. You figure it out. I know you want to stick out for Jen. I'm just saying. It's business. Listen, I don't care what it is. Like, keep it to yourself. Once they arrive at the club, they had better put their personal drama on the back burner. They have a job to do, and if my client isn't happy, they'll be looking for other work come Monday. 5.30 in the morning, we're tired, we're done dancing, and I think we're just gonna go and have a good time now.